Hey friends, this is Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. This video is part two of the How to Program Acoustic Guitar VST series. In this video, we're going to focus on creating basic strumming patterns, creating preset chords, and programming them into your DAW. Before I continue, I'd encourage you to visit my website, www.hifimidi.com, to download these free audio files to import into your DAW so you can follow along and practice. Just a reminder, this is a basic tutorial, but many of the concepts will apply to more complex programming. You won't need a MIDI keyboard for this. Manual note input will be talked about in another video. The strum patterns in this tutorial were inspired by Guitario's 5 Essential Strumming Patterns video. I figure, if you're going to learn virtual guitar, you might as well learn it like a guitar, right? So let's begin. If you're practicing along with this video and you've downloaded the free bass and drums file, you'll want to set your meter to 4-4 and your tempo to 70 beats per minute. You should have a total of three tracks, one of which is your ample sound acoustic guitar. I need to make a correction from the last video. You do not have to have stroke noise on when you're in strummer mode. It automatically plays it for you. However, you can adjust the stroke volume in the first window in strummer mode. This is a useful feature. For this exercise, my song is in the key of C major. This is strummer's default key, so you won't have to change anything. We're only playing four chords, C major for two measures, F major for two measures, A minor for two measures, and G major for two measures. To change these keys, we will be selecting the numbers those chords are assigned to in our quarter bank. Those numbers are 1, 6, 10, and 8. If you're working with the MIDI keyboard, you can select them by pressing C2, F2, A2, and G2 respectively. Now it's time to begin creating our strumming patterns. In the sequencer window, we're going to click the small X in the top right corner. This is going to clear the sequencer window. Since this song is in 4-4, we have access to 16 columns, which are 16th note divisions. Our first pattern is going to consist of 8th note downstrokes. There are two types of downstrokes within this plugin. Bass downstroke, which focuses on the lower strings, and treble downstroke, which focuses on the upper strings. We will be using the treble downstroke for this pattern. All you need to do is click every other matrix cell, and Strummer will trigger the chords for you. Now the default velocity is 90. I don't know if you can see the number there. Uh, it appears right here. The default velocity is 90, but you can easily adjust it by clicking the note and dragging it, uh, dragging it up or down. So the cooler colors are the quieter sounds, and the brighter colors are the louder sounds. you'll see the velocity value change. The range is 1 to 127. For those of you unfamiliar with this, velocity is the speed at which you strike a note on the keyboard. Lower velocity means softer sound, and higher velocity means louder sound. You can adjust the velocity of each note to your heart's desire. You can also give random variation to the velocity by adjusting the strum velocity humanization knob in the first window. Let's audition the pattern by pressing the play button. I think I want it a little softer. That sounds good. Since we've created our first pattern, we can choose our chord, which is C. Then simply drag the MIDI file to your track. So we go to this drag to host button, click it, 
and then drag it to our track. This chord should play for two measures, so you can either drag it into your track one more time, copy and paste, or if you use Logic, drag and loop. Now select your next key, which is F major, it's 6, and drag the MIDI data into your track. I'm going to loop it again. Now choose your next key, which is A minor, and drag. It's that easy. Let's give it a listen. For purpose of clarity, I'm going to change the color of these MIDI regions. Now we can start working on our next pattern. You can either clear your current sequencer window, or you can click on Pattern 2, clear the window, and start on a new one. It doesn't matter, this will not affect the strum pattern you've already created in your track. This time we're going to create an eighth note down upstroke pattern and follow the same steps as before. Since I've already created an eighth note pattern, I'm just going to change every other downstroke to an upstroke. To do this, I just need to click on the upstroke cell. This creates a new articulation while deleting the old one. So this is the upstroke cell. I'm just going to change some of the velocity to match the downstrokes and then let's give it a listen. I like it. Now we're going to we're going to follow those same steps as before. C major, drag, loop, F major, drag, loop, A minor, drag, loop, and then oops, G major. Let's listen to that. Okay, this is getting easier, right? The next pattern we're going to create is going to be built off of this one. It's going to be downstroke, upstroke, palm mute, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke, palm mute, upstroke. So the only ones we're going to change are the third and seventh downstroke. We're going to change it into a uh, muted palm mute downstroke which is this one right here all you need to do is click click that uh, cell I'm gonna make it a little quieter and let's listen to it
Now I think that has a little bit too much ring in it, so I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit. I like it. If you don't want any note in it at all, you could use, you could, um, you could replace that with these muted strums. And that'll be fine. So I'm going to select my chord, drag it. I'll speed through these. For our fourth pattern, I'm going to take out the muted strums. You can delete them by double clicking, but you don't have to delete them like that. You can just simply choose another articulation. So we're going to go down, 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 up, down, down, up. To do this, we can drag this. All the way down, down, up, down, down, up. Maybe make this one a little louder. Okay, and then go through the same steps. I'll speed through this. And for our final pattern, we're gonna go down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So let me clear this. Down, up, down, up. This is going to hold for one bar. Sorry, uh, one beat. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's listen to that. I like that. And let's give that a listen. Now that you know how easy it is to create these patterns within Strummer, you can start making them more complex by filling these in, filling these cells in. Remember, you can only do it one at a time. For example, if I wanted to, the bass plays a uh, 16th note, I, I think. It's a 16th note pickup. Somewhere around here. So in the F major key, I'm going to delete this real quick. F major, and I just want a little down up. 
dun 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 bum 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 down up And that's all there is to it. Friends, thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber and you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell for notifications. Feel free to like, share, and comment. I'll be posting new videos soon where I'll cover inputting notes while recording and advanced strumming techniques. Take care.